how to make thumbnails for YouTube videos and we'll be looking at two uh, free tools which you can use to make some very good thumbnails which are having a clickbait and, uh, which can work as clickbait that is uh, these thumbnails will be uh, clickable so the more you uh, have such thumbnails the chances of your um, video being watched will be higher this also improves your ranking in the long run so let's look at the very first um, software um, you need to go to a website it's called pickmonkey.com once you're at pickmonkey that's p-i-c-m-o-n-k-e-y once you're there you need to hover over design you don't have to click on it when you just hover your mouse over this there will be a drop down and you need to select this option which says custom size. So once you click on that, by default it will be filled by 2000 by 2000 pixels. For YouTube you need to change this to 1280 by 720 pixels. Um, pick monkey. Um, so uh, I am going to make a very simple thumbnail. So let me show you how I do that. I just first upload my image. For that, I'll be clicking on this butterfly option here. When you click on that, it says, it says overlays. And uh, there will be an option which says add your own. Click on that. I already have downloaded an image which I like. So I'm going to select that image and open it up. So you get the image here and then you have this uh, basic editor for the image. So I'm going to drag it till it fills the screen. So this is fine with me. Now I'm going to go and add some text on it. So I click on the T option here, that's text. It will open up text. So what I do is I just say add text. It's added the text here. You get a text editor here. So I'm just uh, making it a little bigger. Then uh, changing the color. Once you are okay with uh, what you see, see uh, if you need to change uh, anything, you just have to click on this. Uh, layers palette and then it, it will show you the different layers and then you can play around with the layers so once you are uh, okay with what you have done uh, you can just go on to saving it so there's an option here which says save you need to click that i just wanted to quickly show you another option which is there there you have uh, an option to put borders as well, frames or borders. So you can click on that and you have many options. Um, I'm using the free version so I don't have access to anything which has like a crown. So if this this crown, if that's a, there's a crown there that means it's a paid version. But then in the free version itself you have lots of options which you can uh, choose from and, uh, and if you like it you can retain that. So here see it has added a border for my uh, photo here and you can increase the thickness decrease it so there are a lot of options and there's an inner thickness as well which can be so this like looks a little better So when you are okay with this, you just click apply and it will apply that to it and then you just click save and you save it. I You have many options of saving. I save it as a JPEG. You can uh, save it as a PNG if you want. So when, I, when it says to save it again, 
is displaying different options so I am changing it to 1280 by 720 and then I click on save to my computer the next option to create thumbnails for your YouTube videos is a website which is called canva.com c-a-n-v-a.com so you need to register an account here once registered you can just log in once you log in it will show whatever you have created before here and uh, to create a design you have many options in canva um, canva you do not have to worry about the pixels if you want you can use select this on the right hand top corner if you see here it says use custom dimensions you could always select this and then uh, type in 1280 by 720 but in uh, canva i just scroll down to the point where it says uh, YouTube thumbnails this one social media and email headers under that click on that and then it opens up a new uh, spot for you to um, a new canvas on which you can design your thumbnail it has many options and it has many free images let me just walk you through a, a few of them so first of all you can uh, search for any image say you want to put a youtube uh, logo there you can just type it type in the search box and say enter and then it will show many images the ones which are free you don't have to pay to use the others the cost is written it's one dollar to use them if you can add after you're done creating the image it will ask you to pay if you use the paid one so i'm going with the free one so i can just pull it here and then resize it canva it's a bit easier resizing and things like that it's very robust so you can just put things around like this then there is the layouts there are certain designs which are free so when you put your mouse over them if the, it doesn't have this dollar sign then it is free so like this one is free suppose you like this particular layout and uh, you can use it or say this one this is free so top 10 uh, music videos it has come up here and you can just simply edit each part of it to suit what you want and another part is you can just go and put elements so say you just want to you can you have the option of putting different shapes here so you can if you click on it a shape will come so you can just resize accordingly and then see i have an option here which says text so i can add a text here and then pull this on top of this and say And I can just change the color so that it is visible. So that's the text and I can just resize it and it will change the size of it. So if you just hook, you can pull it across, you can change the color of this one here so that it looks different. So you can play around with this and you can just change this color here to any color you want and then you can also add elements like grids so you just click on a grid and you can change the layout so you can say like this and then in each one you can put a different image so for that you need to go to the upload section here upload your own images and once you have uploaded it you select the image and you drag it into the frame you want to put it in then you can add um, other layouts other elements say 
let me just add a shape so I can add one in between change the color then add some text on top of that or I can use any of these which are free I can use any of these and edit them so and then once I have added it I can just pull it here so whenever these lines come like you see that means it's snapping to a grid so it's making it aligned now I can also resize it move it around and then when I am happy with this I can then go and click on an option which says download so you have different options for downloading you can either take a G jpg or png both formats are supported by youtube so whichever one you want you can download it now let's see how once we have done this how should we now upload it into youtube this is my final image so i'm going to go to youtube and uh, edit my video so Below the video I get an edit option, I can also go into the video manager and click on edit beside each video. So I am clicking on edit option. Once you click on edit, it will uh, give you an option to upload a new thumbnail. If you do not have the option to upload a new thumbnail, that means you have not activated certain settings. For that you can watch my video on how to activate your uh, YouTube thumbnails I should I will link it below in the description box below so I'm going to change this thumbnail to the one I have created so this is the one so now it says it's uploading so if you like what you see uh, then you just have to click on save changes here and it should upload this thumbnail update this thumbnail soon so that was it how there were these are the two free ways to create youtube thumbnails one was pickmonkey.com the second is canva i will uh, leave the links to both these uh, free softwares um, uh, free websites below in the description box below please do if you have liked this video do hit the thumbs like button and share the video and do subscribe to this channel